Okay, kids. Okay, kids. So, a lot of people are acting like they don't understand what's going on. And so, I'm going to break it down in layman's terms. So, listen, kids. What have we learned from watching the Young Thug trial? One thing that we learn is what you do today can and will affect tomorrow. The things that those guys did yesterday, it's affecting them today. All the things that they have let come into their lives has come knocking at their door. What else have we learned, kids? That when you join a gang, 70 to 80% of the gang will become unalived eventually. The others will end up where? in prison, in county jail, federal penitentiaries. I mean, there's so much to learn from these people. There's so much to learn from this. And so, this is not in vain. This is nothing to glorify. Uh, this is to show people, hey, you can be on top of the world today and tomorrow we'll have you under the bottom of our foot. Because people are like, man, they ain't got nothing on young thug. They ain't. Listen, man. To you, they don't have nothing on Young Thug. The last day of trial is the most important day. The day when the DA or the state says, Exhibit number one. Exhibit number 1,000. That's what count. The state is not there to look pretty and beautiful and magnificent with words. They are there to connect dots and prove facts. And that's what they are doing. Every time your name come up, that's an exhibit. Um, your Honor, can we put this in exhibit 389? Y'all don't see what's going on? This, this is not a game. This is real life. This is why when we get money, when the Lord bless us with money and wealth and power, we should use it righteously. We should never take advantage of people the condition that people are in. We should never misuse people and things like that. We should never mislead or misguide people. This is what we should be learning from this trial. We seen a man who could have became, become almost as, and I'm saying this loosely, but he could have became almost as big as Michael Jackson. This man could have became big, huge, top of the world. But he was bought down. Because these are my opinions, not facts. Because he didn't know how to leave it alone. He didn't know how to step back and move forward with life. A lot of us don't know how to step back and move forward with life. It'll cost us our life and our livelihood. 
What else we learned, people? We learned that when those big numbers start coming out, 35 years, 45 years, 25 years, people start talking. People start telling. Is it their fault? No. It's your fault for being in that position. Every time you get yourself in a position, you always seem to find somebody to blame, man. Mm -mm. Stop blaming people. Blame yourself for putting yourself in that position. Don't blame them for coming in there telling on you. You blame yourself. I did this. I messed up. What was I thinking? I was dead wrong. This is what I'm learning from watching this, y'all. And I'm hoping that people can learn the same thing. This is not about building him up to the point of the largest superstar in the world or anything like that. This is showing people with money uh, this is this is showing how money can corrupt people and destroy a whole community of people. It can destroy lives all across the spectrum. Things like that. And they got some evidence, people. They still got a hundred witnesses left. And every time his name come up, it's going to go and exhibit. It's going to go down as evidence. And whenever the trial ends, whether it be one year, six months, or two years from now, they're going to call all that back out. Could you imagine? Could you imagine a DA at the end of trial standing before jurors Reading seven or eight hundred exhibits, trying to link you and I. Come on, man. Exhibit number ninety nine. He um such and such says that such and such did this or was here or was there or gave this. Hey, man. These people got this figured out. We don't have it figured out. They got this figured out. It's us that don't have it figured out. People still around here rapping and want to do things and, you know, thinking it's a game. Man, this ain't no game. They'll be knocking at your door next. Hey, uh, you remember back in 2013? You're like, what? I'm a pastor now. I'm a deacon. I'm a, I'm a pillar of the community now. I know you are, but you remember in 2013. Look at the video. You throwing your gang signs, talking about your run. Come on now. This is what they doing. The same thing. Listen. Everybody who's on the internet talking about they in a gang and got these guns and all this. These people are recording and taking, man, they got this stuff recorded. And if you mess up, it's going to come up out of nowhere. You're going to be like, man, I thought I had erased it. Yeah, you erased it. They got a copy of it. Yeah, they got a copy of it. Because these things shouldn't be on the internet. I shouldn't be on the internet threatening people, gang banging and things like that and just and making it look cool and then some kids see this 
and start wanting to do what I do and lose their life. I shouldn't be doing that. That ain't that ain't it. I need to show the kids that I'm working. I'm respectable, you know. I'm a good guy. This this is what black kids, white kids, the kids, this is what kids need to see. They don't need to see the gang gang and how many guns you got and how many people you will put them on. We got to stop that. That ain't right. That ain't right. Our people don't need that. Our people need better schools, safer communities, better housing, better jobs. You know, things like this is what our people need. Our people don't need no more hurting them and this and that and pain and tears and broken homes. Our people don't need no more of that. You know, and I'm saying this because I did a video and it's been going viral. The video called, um, the judge in YSL case smells something fishy. And the reason why I say that is because Brian Steele was trying to tell her something about Rich Homie Kwan and how that young thug, this and that. And he laughed and the judge laughed and the judge says, Come on, man, there's just because they sing together don't mean that he can't hate him. There's a lot of band members that sing together and hate each other guts. I said, whoa. So if the judge smells something fishy, something is fishy. This is crazy. I'm telling y'all, they bringing up everybody name. Man, this is a domino effect. This is a domino effect. Y'all can take it lightly, but the names have been called. That's all they need is the names to be called. You can get on stage and put on a show and play like this and that, but just call the names for us. We need to tie these names. And that's what they're doing. Don't underestimate states, feds, and money. These people got this stuff figured out. Until the next time, peace.